Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. And today we have special guests and we have AJ Dillon and his wife, Gabrielle Dillon. And um, I noticed that uh, in Door County, we always joke that everybody has a nickname. So my nickname is AJ. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody calls me AJ. So I'm like, <laughs> why is your name AJ? So as I was driving here today with Kit, yeah. I asked, um, what's his name? Like, why is it AJ? Mm -hmm. So that's my first question. Okay, well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask my family, uh, my name would be Algiers Jamil William Dillon Jr. Okay. Um, if you ask anybody else in Wisconsin, they probably go with Quadzilla, <laughs> the Quad Father. You keep going a little north and you get to Door County, the mayor. <laughs> See? Uh, you know, I recently the sheriff, and tons of names, tons yeah. of names. But whatever you want to call me, AJ works. We can both call Perfect. it AJ. Perfect. I'll share that nickname yeah, with you any absolutely. day. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? Um, Gab. Gab. Yeah, I'll go by Gab, Gab sometimes. Gabriel. Yeah, okay. Gabrielle, Gab. Well, I'm here with Gab and AJ, <laughs> so, and we're going to learn a little bit about you. And I know that um, I try to make this as informal as possible, and all my people out there know that I'm all about <laughs> when Harry met Sally. So I'm going to sort of let you guys take it off. Like, first I'm going to ask AJ, where did you come from originally? Yeah, so I, uh, born in Baltimore, grew up in Connecticut. Um, for high school, I went to prep school, to boarding school, Lawrence Academy, which is Groton, Massachusetts, so right outside of Boston. Uh, and then I went to Boston College. I did three years there, left as a junior and got drafted in the second round of the Packers and ended up in Green Bay, midst of COVID. Three days after the draft, um, I decided, I'm, you know what, I'm going to go see what Green Bay is all about. Moved out to Green Bay, had no furniture, didn't know a soul out here, and, uh, you know, just sent it. And so... Gabrielle, I met eventually when I was out here, but yeah, I'm from the East Coast. Okay, and Gabrielle, where are you from? I'm actually from Green Bay. So you're so, from Green Bay? Yep, um, and then I lived in Chicago for a little bit, and then Madison, and then I conveniently met AJ when he moved to Green Bay, because I was home visiting my family. So. Okay, and so- And then just moved back. <laughs> when Harry met Sally, yeah. how did yes. you guys meet? Okay, I mean, modern day love story, uh, you know it all. Everybody says, you shoot your shot. Um, I, when I got out to Green Bay, like I said, I didn't know anybody out here. And, you know, I'm scrolling through, you know, social media. And I'm like, well, like, is there anybody to, like, get to know out here? Who am I going to, like, who's going to show me this place? And uh, I saw Gabrielle's, like, Instagram. And I was like, all right, let me message <laughs> wow. her. And so I sent her a message. And I was like, hey, like, um, you know, I'd love to, you know, hang out some time. And, um, you know, she's big bad Wisconsin Badger and oh, yeah. she, so she, was awesome. down, she was down in Madison having fun like as she should and I was in Green Bay which is her hometown so like you know you never want to during your college years you don't want to go back exactly. home uh, but it, it took a lot of convincing <laughs> I was like please you know like hang it like well let's hang out and at first she said no but eventually persistence is key and uh, we hung out the rest really? of history. You did the, you you took let him down at first yeah yeah it took, gave yeah. him a little hard yeah. time yeah. I wasn't interested. <laughs> no, I was just, you know, Madison's a little bit further, so yeah. Yeah. I needed some convincing. Yeah. And there's a lot going Come back on to down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Madison's it was worth it. Yeah. 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 It was definitely worth it. Yeah. 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 So how long have you two been together? Let's Since see. When did we meet? About early. three years ago almost? Three years ago. I mean, so I got my license. I didn't have a license when I came to Green Bay. A driver's license? Never had a driver's license. My first NFL purchase was a bike at Peach Garage in downtown Green Bay. Oh my gosh. Um, because I had always, I was always from a city, so I'd always use public transportation or sure. somebody, a friend was always around or an Uber. Um, I used Uber when I first got out to Green Bay and I had the same Uber driver three days in a row. So we decided to just cut out the middleman. I just paid him $20 to get me to where I needed to be there and back 
round trip, and it worked out for both of us. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, she she taught me how to drive. You did? In our yeah. Honda Civic, he? Honda Accord. Accord. Yeah. Accord. He was a very slow driver at first. Yeah. I was cautious. Very cautious. cautious. Which is good. But, we started in the Lambeau Field parking lot, so yeah, that was kind of helpful. Where, Lambeau Field parking Wide lot. open space. Yeah, it's where I learned how to park, where I learned how to turn, use the blinkers. That's... Uh, yeah, Green Bay love story, really. Um, but <laughs> So you probably got to know each other fairly well. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, and it was a summer where there wasn't a lot open yet because yeah. things were coming off of COVID. So we Nothing just had to, open. like, make up a new adventure every day. We would be, like teaching them how to drive yeah. or we go try like whatever new restaurants open for like takeout and go take out the food to like a park or something like that so we got really close because everything wasn't like in person yet so and, then, and that's the thing like with um you know obviously we're coming up on what four years knowing each other three three okay. well coming up on three <laughs> years knowing each other but you know during that time like we literally spent every single day together for a year uh so that kind of wow expedited things <laughs> Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, you, really, couples. you really get to know each other, and if it wasn't going to yeah. last, definitely wouldn't going to last yeah. every time. <laughs> sure. Uh, but yeah. So you guys just clicked. Yeah. yeah. Did Pretty everything. Much. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a great story. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when he was driving, how long did it take him before he just went on his solo? Well, I will say, I didn't approve of you going on the road. <laughs> we were keeping it in the parking lot. Guarantee you had like a. Yeah, and it, like I knew what I was doing. I played video games. No, so. I didn't. <laughs> you had some sort of like something that you could like learn how to drive. Yeah. But then he decided to just like turn off onto a night street, and I was like, I did not approve of this. Please go back to the parking lot. But I do remember the first time you took my car on your own. You went to like Walgreens or something like yeah. that. And well, that now was you're a little a mission. Right? I was yeah. just like oh, biting yeah. my no nails. Take it. I mean. <laughs> You just jump yeah, in and it, yeah. no big deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember um, one time, uh, there's a guy I know from Screen Bay, Casey Keene, and he had Broadway Chevrolet, but he is now retired. And I broke. I have an old El Camino, and I mm. broke down in Green Bay one time, and I called him up, and I'm like, I broke down in Green Bay in my El Camino, and he goes, well, I'll come and get you. <laughs> we, we got my car, towed it away. He goes back to his house, and he opens up his garage. Pick a car. You can take one of these home with you and use it for a week. Mm. I'm just like, <laughs> I mean, I have an old El Camino, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> there was a Porsche, there was something else, and yeah. there was a, a Jeep Wrangler and a big uh, truck that was like fancy pants. And I said, oh, I'll just take that Jeep then, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I took the Jeep home and I remember taking my, I pulled up in front of uh, my rental house, right, it's down, right next to the boathouse mm -hmm. restaurant. And my nephew has a boat rental business across the street and I pulled up and he sees me pull up in the Jeep and I go, look what I just bought. He knows I would never buy <laughs> a car. I like and that. He, want, he goes, oh my God, you bought my dream truck. But I drive oh, no. a 99 Toyota 4Runner, really. I mean, yeah. I had one, you know. And then I said, come on. He goes, I'll teach you how to drive a stick. Never again. Oh, my yeah, gosh. That's... I go, you're going to burn out the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> you to come on the back road. That's I was tough. the worst. I was a good teacher. I was trying to remain calm. But um, I was like, yeah, this is not my car. Not yeah. Can I yeah, go just on the road? kidding. You better stick to just the, yeah. on the calm yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with the stick. I, I know. I was late, late bloomer when it comes to the cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just need to put it in drive. And yeah, then yeah. we're safe. It. That's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. Well, moving on from that. <laughs> okay, so you ended up getting married mm -hmm. and uh you had a big wedding mm -hmm. because i remember i didn't know either one of you really and i was looking in the newspapers and looking on facebook mm -hmm. and it was all about you guys <laughs> and your wedding coming up and um why did you choose door county for your wedding venue go ahead okay. i mean <laughs> well door county has um always been a special place for her and her family they've you know, been coming up here and spending time here as a family for long before I was even in the picture, even a thought. Um, but when I when we did meet and you know during that COVID time when things were closed, it was great for us to come up here. And that was one of the first things, and honestly, a big reason of why I feel so connected and so passionate about Door County. I'm from the East Coast, so I've been to you know Cape Cod and the the water and mm -hmm. the we have ocean. And you know, a lot of times people compare Door County. Yes. Uh, to the Midwest Cape Cod and so when we came out here that first time I remember like looking around I'm like oh this is a lake you know there's not really many uh, chains it's like mom and pop shops 
local wow. people. Yeah. It's great morals. Everybody you meet is a great person. And I was like, I feel so at home. And right. for me, not knowing anybody, haven't stepped foot in Lambeau Field yet, um, just based off just, you know, morals and the people that I met, I was like, this feels like home. And so obviously years have gone by and um, we've been hanging out here and uh, I had proposed to her indoor county at her parents' place in Egg Harbor. And uh, so nice. I, I told her, it's funny, I told her that we we're doing a commercial shoot for Door County. Yeah. Um, I, had, I had gotten the key to Door County at this point. And um, I was like, yeah, we, we just got to do this, photo, this, um, this commercial shoot, just come along with me. And she was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I don't want, like, I don't really like being in front of camera. <laughs> and I was like, no, but you can get your nails done, your hair done, Ooh. you can pick out your dress, you can get some new earrings. Treats. And she was, she was all for it. She was like, all right, yeah, yeah, sure, let's do it. And I was like, you don't, even have, you don't have any lines. And so she, sure enough, she picked my outfit, she picked her outfit, got the nails. She, she made all the I appointments. I had like the perfect engagement photo. Yeah, she, you she made know. all these appointments. She had not a single yeah. clue. She Excellent, made all these appointments. Yeah. I know, Excellent. he really uh, did that well. The last time I lied to her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, so, and so so we started off at Al Johnson's and we, or I guess DeBoer outside. Oh, DeBoer. You yes, know, we, yes. we had the, I had a camera crew of like three guys from Door County film us there. Mm -hmm. And then we did a little walk up by the beach there. Then we went uh, over to Fish Creek. Uh, we went over to Fish Creek area. And then, uh, you know, from there, we went to her family's place at Egg Harbor. We went down to the dock. And, you know, it was the last part. I was like, why do you like Door County? Things like that. And sure enough, I dropped down to her knee. She had no idea, had nothing coming. Her whole family was there. My mom, I had flown around. <laughs> oh, my around. gosh. Were you freaking out? Yeah, I was <laughs> just in so much shock. I think in the video, too, I'm like, Really? She's like, like, what? Really? And then <laughs> I'm like said, looking at the camera, people are like, you you knew, you knew. Like, so everyone was in on it but you. Besides me and my and mom. mom. So me and my mom were in so like such shock, but obviously it was like the best prize ever. So naturally then a year later when we planned the wedding, I was like, well, it was such a meaningful place to me growing up in Door County. Yeah. My parents, you know, to their home, but we also used to go up there when I was like four years old. So it was like special to my family. And then we have so many memories there now yeah, too. Absolutely. So then, it seemed only natural to get married there too. Yeah. And then, yeah, sure enough, we got married there at the same spot. So it's yeah. awesome, lots of memories there. That's a great story. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I kind of liken that when you said that you have never been to Door County before, but you've been here before. Mm -hmm. There was another couple that I interviewed and um, he came from Colorado, mm -hmm. and they uh, have a peach farm back there. So oh, they have peach oh. barn. I don't know if you've been in Sister Bay. No, you would no, actually like it. It's, uh, they're the, about your the age. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, not the brewery? No, this, yeah, it's oh. a little peach barn. It's right across from the Nicolay Bank on top of the hill in Sister Bay. So it's fairly new but they're doing really good things back there. It doesn't look like much from the road, but when you get behind it, but we did a little yeah. interview with we'll them too, out. and he never wanted to come to Door County. Mm -hmm. Anytime they had vacation, he would never want to come here because he just thought, why? Yeah, it's Wisconsin. Like, and then one day, he, when she always came here, and they had a place up in, yeah. I want to say Gills Rock, somewhere yes. up there on the water. And then when she brought him here, he was blown away, and he said, well, you, you told me about it, but you never told me it was this great yeah, like yeah. you didn't tell me you about the water it. you didn't tell me about he was been to wisconsin in the woods and yeah, everything but he had yeah. no idea yeah. that was like you it picture is. farmland and stuff too oh yeah seriously. and then he was hook wine and sinker and that's yeah. when they opened up their place that, that, so. i mean that's really all it is with door county i feel like you just got to get people up here yeah i yeah. mean i remember my first time she was driving and snowmobile. we're we're coming up and I'm from the city, like I said, and I see the snowmobile cross. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where am I? I like, like what I, is going I on? Only, I've only seen snowmobiles honestly in like T V show. <laughs> <laughs> snowmobile yeah. crossing means it's a regular thing. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't know where we're where we're headed right now. But I mean once you get up here, I mean I've had teammates, uh, you know, we brought up multiple teammates and obviously we had our wedding. So we had a bunch of people out here from out of town. And it's, once they get up here, they're like, I would never have expected this to be in Wisconsin. It's just, you know, such a safe space for us. It's yeah, just sure. somewhere we love to be. It's a safe haven and, you know, it's great. Yeah, you know, because when you grew up in Wisconsin, people, if you travel or go anywhere, they think you're a farmer. Yeah. Right yeah. away you say, I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, are you a farmer? No, yeah. No. no. <laughs> um, um, well, you must eat a lot of cheese. Yeah. Like, well, I eat a lot of cheese, but I'm not a farmer. Yeah. And I, I don't live in a farming <laughs> Jesus area. Yeah. But, I mean, people have their yeah. stereotypes yeah, on how Wisconsin, Wisconsin is, is yeah. because we are the dairy state. There yeah. is a lot of farms, and there's a lot of yeah. farms up here too. 
but they don't understand that it's more like cherries and apple yeah. blossoms yeah. too, and that there's cheese, yes. Very well rounded. Um, but it's definitely um, water related. Yeah, but yeah. people don't realize that it can be so like picturesque. Yeah. yeah. And no. then they show them a photo of Dirk and they're like, Wisconsin? And I'm like, mm hmm. You'd yeah. be surprised. Yeah. When, I tell people, when I tell people like we stay in Green Bay and the Wisconsin area all, all year round, <laughs> yeah. they're like, I just shake their head and I'm yeah, like, why right. would you ever yeah, do the that? The frozen like, tundra, just get out of here. Yeah. Warm there. Get out of here. I'm like, yeah. bro, it's, it's plenty beautiful sure. up here. It's yeah, funny you gotta to do. Yeah, you got to come check it out because it's yeah. not what you think. Um, what did your family think when you decided you were going to come here and move to Wisconsin? And Yeah, uh, so my family's on the East Coast and they, you know, I will say, you know, I got a great support system back home. They uh, had always been supported growing up, high school, basketball, or Pop Warner, college, wherever it would be, they'd, you know, make the point to travel and support me in whatever way they could. Um, I think when I got to Green Bay, uh, and I started to really like Green Bay, mm -hmm. like view mm -hmm. it as a home, be like, hey, you know what, like, I really like this girl, Gabrielle, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm really, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get engaged, we're getting married, et cetera, et cetera, and now, like, you know, with or without football, um, you know, you never know football, sure. where it might take you, but this is what we view as our home, regardless of post oh, so nice. football and everything. You know, Green Bay is going to be our home. And so, you know, I'm saying that to my family on the East Coast, I'm like, are you sure? But then, <laughs> but we've had them out here and they, you yeah, know, they've so grown great. to love it. And, you know, they're messaging us like, when can we come yeah. out next? When oh, can we come yeah, to our County? Yeah. Uh, when's the best time? We don't even have to, like, we know you guys have a baby on the way. We don't want to bother yeah, you, yeah. but we're just going to rent a place in Door County and spend the time up there. And then we'll come visit you on our way back before we hit the airport. Oh, that's, and so, yeah, awesome. um, like, like I said, I mean, whether it's NFL players, whether it's my family, whether it's friends, it's just all about getting people up here. And once they see it, uh -huh. um, there's no, uh, you know, there's no second it's guessing what's, it's what's fun. up and here. And you can yeah. enjoy where you are and you can enjoy your company mm -hmm. and you can share with them everything you love about an area. That's what I always say, too. Yeah. Bring people to your favorite haunts yeah. up here. And then, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Well, I know you're having a baby. Yeah. Nice. I usually never ask people if they're having a baby. Yeah, I've, learned that. There. I've learned that. Hard. Many people have told me, don't ever ask people if they're having a baby, because they may not be. And um, But you're having a little yes, baby. Yes, we're having yeah. a boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when are you due? We're due in May. So in May. End of oh, May. Coming soon. I yeah. love it. My son uh, had his Make-A-Wish at the Packer Stadium oh, nice. with Aaron Rodgers and with uh, nice. the whole like shebang. Mm -hmm. They made it an unbelievable day. We went oh, to the Packer awesome. Stadium. We saw things we never thought we'd ever see. We went into so the cool. ladies where they sew everything. Mm -hmm. um, they sewed him a jersey. We went into the locker room. He had his own locker right next to Aaron Rodgers' locker That's with his so cool. helmet and a football. And we were all just like, what? but I always have to say that the make a wish was a big deal with the Packers awesome. and I thought that was pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've had the privilege to, you know, be a part of, you know, a few of those, um, you know, instances where we, we bring kids in and, you know, every time it's, it's so, uh, it's so humbling and, yeah. and it really gives you perspective on, you know, the platform that you have yeah. and, you know, the impact that you can make on, it's you know, great. some of these kids lives. And I, I will say, you know, regardless of, you know, mm -hmm. where football might take me. Like I said, you know, the Packers do, a, you know, a great, great job of, you know, incorporating those kids and their families yes. in Very the entire important. essence of what it means to be a Packer. Every time um, we have a, a make a wish or whatever it may be, um, you know, with, with us. And so, yeah, um, that's I always awesome used to, to say that it. Yeah. it would be nice to be someone who could make a difference that's more mm -hmm. in the limelight. Like if you were in the limelight, why wouldn't you want to make a difference somewhere, some way, somehow? Because mm -hmm. yeah. you just have more power than someone else would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like an average Joe. Yeah. So sometimes it's fun to watch like um, celebrities jump in. Yeah. yeah. So um, when your friends come up to, to Door County, yep. do you have to drag them up or do they <laughs> kind of? A little bit both. Uh, so I've been I've been accused of being somewhat of a peer pressure. <laughs> so you know whether we're at like Bayside and I'm like, ah, come on, grab one more beer, or if I'm like, hey, come on, now's a weekend to come up to Door County. Same thing. I think my friends are fine. Like you know they'll be like, all right, fine, we'll go. We have time off. And uh, but I'm, I'm batting a thousand. Not one person has come up here and not liked it. Yeah, that's one, my next question. Yeah. Did you teammate? ever have anyone that thought, no. why I, I still am here and I still don't get it? There's like, not why? one teammate that has come up here and not enjoyed it. And honestly, a, frankly, a lot of them have come up even I'm without me. And just come yeah. up with with, with their, their spouses or their, their friends, friends yeah. and you know ask for recommendations to places to eat or places mm -hmm. to stay. And we've 
you know, happily p pass the information on to, you know, somebody who we know, like the Door Hotel oh, or, nice. you know, yeah. wh whatever it may yeah. be. And um, yeah, it's all, it's all worked out. So before you met AJ, mm -hmm. did you have haunts that you just loved that you had to teach him to like that you always, I have to go here because this is what I always go. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's I don't care I, if you don't like it, but we're going. Yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of originally what I did entirely. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm just going to show you all my favorite spots. Okay. And he kind of just fell in love with them too. We have similar tastes, which is nice. So uh -huh. everything, every place I took him, he loved, but mm -hmm. I always had to like take him to all the confectionaries. And sure. Of course, when Tal Johnson. Yeah. So and just kind of everywhere that I grew up going, I took them there. And then it was so fun because on our, you know, on our own together, then we started to like reach out mm -hmm. and discover new places that I've never been. And I've been coming to Dark County since I was born. So it's been fun to discover new places and then also show them everywhere that I live. Yeah. And do you have siblings? Yep, I do. I have an older brother and a younger sister. And, and do they spend close. their time up here a lot as yep. well? My sister worked at Al Johnson's actually. Um, what? Yeah, my little sister worked at Al Johnson. Who's your little sister? Claudia Tunin. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that she was your sister. Yeah. How come I don't know these things? Yeah. How come you didn't tell me? So yeah, things things things, things go Kit, full circle. <laughs> yeah, things go full circle. So, um, you know, they've spent their summers like working in Door County and you know hanging out in Door County. So we're all really 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 close too. That's great. Mm -hmm. I like that story. That yeah. right. Um, so. In the future, if you guys ever picked a place to live, I know football takes you places that you may never know or whatever, mm -hmm. would you ever consider living in Green Bay permanently or ever living up here? A thousand percent Green Bay. Uh -huh. um, I think we'd definitely think about like it's very nice right now because her parents have a place yeah. in Torrey County. Yeah. Like, I don't need to get a place. Well, you may inherit it. We are gonna go there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, I mean these, these are two favorite places in the world. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, we'd we'd stay here year round, and you know we'll take vacations. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, and you know get some warmth. We'll go down to Florida. Um, we had a friend's wedding in California, so we made a trip out of sure. it, um, which is great. Uh, but there's never a time we, we go and visit. As much fun as we have, we're always like, we can't wait to get back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back in the middle of the snowstorm, yeah. Yeah. and it's gray skies in the middle of February, March. But, you know, we love it, and this is home yeah. for us. So, you know, coming up here in the middle of winter, coming up to Door County, um, even where we go yesterday, we went to One Barrel yeah. and Pizza Bros and had a great time watching basketball sure. at the cottage. Um, you know, that it, it's so much more about, you know, the memories and the people um, than like the yeah. location. Yeah. Do you ever outside. feel um, when you come up here that people just jump on you like, oh, my God, and then they like ask you too many questions <laughs> and then you feel like you can't sit and enjoy the game on TV because you're watching the game or you can't finish your dinner or do you ever feel like that? No, you can I, be honest. Yeah, all, I mean, not really. There's only been like I could just like a very handful like very few number of situations where I feel like yeah, you've I mean, been overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But I think usually people are just so genuine and yeah. nice that it doesn't feel but like they like acknowledge you, but they don't take up your time. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. it's, it's depends. Right? It's a, you know, it's a little bit of you know a mixed bag, obviously, because uh, everybody's different. But you know, th like you said, with the same instance of you know making the most of your platform and having the ability to speak out, like in the same sense, like I was a little kid who would have like dropped down and fainted had I met like yeah. a at the time I was like a Titans fan growing up. So like, had I met a Titans player? So like, I 100% get it. And so, um, you know, it, it's always great to, you know, meet a kid or meet a family and take a picture because like- It's a big it, deal. It, it, it's really funny, you and your family go out to eat and ironically, you know, it might not be your favorite, but maybe your favorite Packer player is yeah. right there. It's a really cool experience. And so I think we both do a good job of, you know, being, you know, courteous to everybody yeah. and trying to make everybody feel included. But the best analogy I can give to it is, you know, like if I'm out eating at any restaurant here in Door County, there might be four or five tables that know, yeah. you know, who we are or whatever, and you know, might want to grab a picture. We went to one and they may just give you a shout out. But though, at the end, when we're done, hey, yeah. can, can oh, we yeah. take a picture? Versus, you know, Mid we'll go meal. to, we'll go to, we've been to L.A. and then we'll be in the middle of a meal, and somebody will come up to our table and like, hey, can you take a picture? Like <laughs> yeah. middle of a meal, middle of a conversation. <laughs> Whereas, like, yeah, you know that. 
but I feel like everybody's really genuine the Midwest here. nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Midwest nice. Well, in a jokingly way, I remember uh, I always, when I was younger, I was raised at Al Johnson's, raised working in the kitchen, raised working in the dining room, and our, my dad would always run around and bust tables, and our big mm-hmm. job was to beat him to a table and set up before he did. Mm. That's so, awesome. um, But I always remembered when my dad would always grab a candy bar mm-hmm. and then go give it to a kid. And my mm-hmm. dad was kind of loud, yeah. like, super loud and liked to cuss a lot. <laughs> he didn't cuss in front of kids. No. <laughs> Maybe he cuss in front of Not me. Not that we know of. <laughs> Um, but uh, he would go up to this kid and he'd go, here's a chocolate bar for you. And the kid's just like, what? And grabs the chocolate bar and just like all like doesn't know whether to cry or be happy. you know. Yeah. And then my, my dad will walk away. And then they're like, isn't that nice that bus boy gave... Um, the bus boy. gave our son a chocolate bar, and then they would say, "Well, that's the owner. I mean, that's Al Johnson. He came, he came, stopped at my table and gave my son a chocolate bar." And I'm like, "That to me, like watching that was yeah. kind of cool." So, what's your most favorite bar? Just bar. Bayside. Bayside Tavern. Bayside Tavern. Absolutely. All right, I used to hang out there quite a bit. Yeah. I, sh- I shut that place down. Yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> one time I shut that place down and we were all leaving and I ran my brother over with my truck, but that's a different story. And I ruined his knee for life. I've been, I've been barefoot racing outside in the street. Yeah. Oh, I punched yeah. my ticket and clocked in some hours as a bartender. Yeah. Uh, I still place. say yeah. you should be guest bartenders at your favorite bars. Yeah. Sign I, the I've canoe. done it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sign the canoe. Oh, yeah. Sign it there. You too. You both should. Yeah. Go jump back there. Fun. Start a little Cocktail. series. That's what you did. Yeah. You serving yeah, our wedding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so favorite restaurant? Wickman, Wickman House. Okay, so, okay, Wickman House. Okay, so I'll separate that up. Mm-hmm. For like a nice dinner. Okay, yeah. Wickman House. Then, Wickman yeah. House. You both agree on that. I yeah. like that. Okay, so what about a casual dinner? AC Tap. <laughs> it's okay if you don't have the same one. Yeah, you can switch. I don't know. Alexander's is on my mind today. Yeah, I feel like that's nicer though. Well, I don't know what like. Super casual. Yeah, yeah like a- just a casual. Uh, We're AC hungry. Tap. Let's just yeah, go. We didn't plan it out. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap. Okay. What about your favorite lunch? place like lunch you really place. like behringer's behringer's yeah i'd say uh what would i say hey tell me <laughs> <laughs> um, you probably have a couple yeah, you can mention you can lunch. mention two if you want lunch is just wherever is you like burton's open. i feel like oh, visited burton's, burton's on the bay and then um i'm missing one. <laughs> what um, are you thinking of Oh, Fireside. We get Fireside oh, yeah, for lunch yeah. all the time. Yeah. Okay. Fireside. I could not think of the name. For, all right. For reason. What about uh, breakfast? We'll hand it to you. Al Johnson's. Al Johnson's. <laughs> Absolutely. Hands down. Absolutely. And White Golan. <laughs> yeah, White Golan, too. I know. People always like, I, I, that's why I never read Yelp. I don't read Yelp and I don't read TripAdvisor. <laughs> yeah. I have other people that read that because I get super defensive about it. We're not fine dining. We never try to be fine dining. We're a mom and pop's <laughs> small restaurant. We're good it. about pancakes. We're good about meatballs. We're not known for that. If everybody wants hey. a fine dining, more organic breakfast experience, there's so many great restaurants up here to do it in. Al oh, Johnson's is the best. Oh. I can relate like to the... I can relate to you more than you know with the comments. I mean, people <laughs> comment on me all the time. You're not that fast. I mean, if yeah. you want to find a little fast 185 yeah, yeah. pound bag, there's plenty of them to choose from. Yeah. I'm unique. <laughs> And if you guys I want a bag of Twizzlers, I, do well. I got some in my car right now. We can I, do have some I do what I do and I do it well. Uh, so I, I definitely. Okay, so my last question is, is I have a two of them. Uh, what would be your favorite place to go have a cup of coffee and maybe mm. a little something, something to go with it? Mm. And we call that fika. Ooh. A little something, something Where would you go? With it. Yeah, a little something, Where something like go? a sweet treat or like a coffee. Well, cause you're... I would say fireside. Because you can have beignets. Because they do have oh, the, big uh, shop. the big easy. Yep. Mm-hmm. The big easy. And you do live close there. <laughs> yeah. So you can yep. get coffee I'd say the, the uh, sip. Sip? Oh, yeah. Is yeah. Sip is awesome. Yeah. They just yeah, opened yeah. up. That's yeah. awesome. Well, I'm going to sh- give my shout out. I like brew in Ellison Bay. Oh, you guys I haven't been there. It's, it's, it's just like this, very easy going. Oh, yeah. People come yeah. in there every day, sit at a table, and, um, you know, normal, every day. Yeah. So, How do we say the name of Drumhouse? Drumhouse is Drumhus. Swedish. It's yeah. like it's Dreamhouse. Yeah. Drumhouse. 
But Drum Moose is definitely a place we got to try. We yeah. Been yeah. There yet. Yeah. She's a new. She's a newbie on the block, so people yes. have to try Drum Moose. We're gonna definitely have a Dorothy Tony episode to your list. about her too. She's awesome. I like it. Okay, and then the last one is is if you had a favorite, just dessert. Like, do you know anywhere that you would go just for dessert? Oh, um, sweetie pies. Sweetie pies. Yeah, the cherry pies. Very good. <laughs> I don't know. Sweetie pies, I guess. Sweetie pies. Yeah, that's why I love sweet. She, she's like all sweets. I like cherry pie. I love like sweets. Super sweets. Sarah's okay. gelato, I feel like, would be your go-to. Yeah, that's Green Bay, though. And then I'm going to really some put you drink. on the spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this is, is a bad drink. one. Mm -hmm, you're good. Because it could hurt feelings. But this don't take a You know, this is just their <laughs> personal choices. I got mine, too, but I'm not going to tell anyone. Um, uh, ice cream. You guys want to quick mm. go get some delicious. Sarah's gelato. Sarah's gelato. Fish cream. If that can count as ice cream. Okay. It's ice cream. It's not the same as ice cream. It's gelato, but it's like, but if we're going to get, if we're like an ice cream movie, we're going to get a Sarah Gelato yeah, 100% of the time. Yeah, and that's where's my that? Favorite. Fish Creek. Okay. Yeah. So I hope everybody caught that because I actually don't know about it. Yeah. Ooh. It opened two years ago, I think. It's in Fish Creek right next to, what's the restaurant uh, with the second level? Mm. Uh, Ranger's? Whistling Gold. Whistling Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And okay. That, yeah, it's right well, there. Well, I know a long time street. ago, we used to have to go to Malibu Moose all the time. Oh, I miss Because Malibu my son Moose. was a shave ice freak. Mm. Okay. I mean, he didn't like ice cream, yeah. but he loved shave Shaved ice. ice. And I swear yeah. to God, they only... I, don't know that Malibu Moose is there anymore, is it? Mm -mm, it, it was there short, right the behind the bayside. It was very tiny. Same like snow cones? Yeah. yeah we used to, uh, well, they did yeah. ice cream Malibu too, Moose. but they did that thing they where they slap the it on the table yeah. and they mix all kinds of stuff in it. Yeah, but my son is a popsicle freak. And then I swear to God, he only went there to get the, the they put some kind of little squirt of some kind of cream in the yeah. center. Oh, so they really? had to get at it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I was, <laughs> so I good. Go, you just want that little thing in the yeah. middle. You got to make yeah. your food an adventure. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, Malcolm was his mist. I know. It was so funny. I know they gave a speech to his high school class about what it was like to be alive, what it's like to be dying, and what you should do with your life to his classmates. And right after that, he had to go to Malibu Moose and have, <laughs> have some shave ice. And I'm like, what is it? What? That's great. I nice. know. So he had his favorites too. That's awesome. Well, there's so much to talk about Door County, but I'm so glad I got to meet you in person. Yeah, I just absolutely. see you in the so newspapers and everything. And I don't work in the dining room at Al's. I work in the warehouse. I'm, I'm one of those people that doesn't see the light of day <laughs> sometimes. But um, I ride my bike back and forth to work, and I have a dog and, you know, that kind of stuff. But you can always poke your head back there. Yeah, I sometimes, when, when it's a nice day, I'll open up my garage door and have just yeah. you know some air yeah. flow and it's right in the parking lot yeah. so of course when i'm working back there they're like aren't you door county girl and i'm like yeah <laughs> <Bingo. laughs> this is me and i do i work in a warehouse and like, what are you working back here for because it's my job awesome maybe you have a connect to get me on the roof i gotta get on the roof one yeah of these oh god any time yeah, yeah, yeah we have i have plenty of connections <laughs> for, the for the long the roof. for the longest there time funny i think there's been a lot of kids that were concepted up there but you're okay <laughs> so I, I think so. The funny, funny <laughs> conspiracy theory here. For the longest time, um, they were oh, telling yeah. me that there was goats on the roof, her and her family. And every time we'd go to Sister Bay, for whatever reason, every time we'd go, there were no goats. You know, it was either too hot or yeah. too cold or whatever. We have goat and so I had, gone, I had gone for like two years. I'm like, the goats are not real. <laughs> they don't exist. They're not real. They just put up little like play things. It's not a it's real goat. It's just goats. something to get people to come. And then away. eventually I saw the goats. I was like, all right, okay. And I saw them move. <laughs> yeah. <you laughs> but know. I was staring real hard. Huh? <laughs> I have to say, on our behalf, it's never been as hot as it has been in the last, last couple, couple of summers. Years, yeah. I mean, when I was younger, we never had air conditioning. Yeah. We never had um, to worry about hot 90 degree weather or anything like that. So the goats were always up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like from, we were and open 6 a.m. <laughs> to 9 p.m. every day, yeah. all year. Crazy. Yeah. We never closed early. We, now we have a health problem. Mm -hmm. Everybody in Door County has a health problem. So if you guys have friends that want to come up and work, you have to send them yeah. our way. Absolutely. You know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm so happy to meet you both. Thank and you. I'm so excited about your baby. You. I'm a little partial to baby boys because oh, I had one. So and he's, they're adorable and they're awesome in oh, every way. Thank you so much so, for having us. 
So thank you for joining us for another episode of Door County Girl, everyone. And don't forget to like and to subscribe at the bottom of the page. And you can meet more awesome people like AJ and Gabrielle. And awesome. if you see them in Door County, don't interrupt their dinner or anything. But you, <laughs> yeah, you can say hi after. Right give after. a little hey or a heads up or whatever. Yeah, so thanks, everyone. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you.